Thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring a portion of this video. I'm feeling happy And moments ago I was only empty What did you slip me? My heart is racing and I'm getting dizzy There must be some complicated after effect of this Will I wake up in your bed and regret everything I did Like a hangover but leave me needing one more fix She said, shut your mouth and kiss me I was able to finish my 10 page research paper in under 24 hours. See, this is why I get away with procrastinating. I end up finishing the work. So tomorrow is my last day of class and then I have two reading days and then it's finals until next Tuesday for me. Even though tomorrow is my last day of class, it's basically just exam day. But then for those classes, it's not my finals either, it's just an exam before my finals. I'm just going to be studying for those exams for the rest of the day. I have one at 11 a.m. and then one of them is a take home exam that's due by midnight tomorrow. So I'm going to be waking up or trying to wake up at 5 a.m. every day during finals week just so that I can A, finish up work and study so that I could do well on my exams and B, fix my sleep schedule because I've been sleeping at like 7 a.m. and waking up past noon. That's not good. Thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this portion of the video. So for those of you who are not familiar with Grammarly, Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that is available as a browser extension and it works across multiple platforms such as Gmail, Microsoft Word, and Google Docs. It is a must have for anyone who writes in their day to day life. The free version is really awesome in that it checks for spelling, grammar, and punctuation, but upgrading to Grammarly Premium gives you access to advanced checks such as word choice voice, clarity, and tone adjustments. I personally find Grammarly to be very helpful when I'm communicating with brands through emails. I especially really like the tone detector so that I can adjust my language depending on what kind of tone I want to deliver the message in. If you're interested in trying it out, you can use my link grammarly.com slash yura to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. Thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring that portion of the video. So for one of my classes today, I forgot to join the Zoom. I didn't forget, I just thought we didn't have class today, but apparently we did. Um, and so I joined the Zoom like 40 minutes late and everyone was already gone. But usually when the host is not in the Zoom meeting, the host gets an email notification saying that this person is waiting in the Zoom room. And apparently my professor got that email saying that I was waiting in the room and she emailed me and I think she thought that I had something to tell her which is why I joined the zoom late because I don't think she noticed that I was not in class today and so I was just like oh no have a good summer don't waste your breath cause you know what I'm feeling midnight's closing in and I won't wait for you don't think about it twice we're way past second guessing and I want you now just shut your mouth and kiss me Now I'm just going through these lecture slides to study for the exam I have tomorrow There's so much information It's like almost midnight but I'm cooking a late night snack This is Corbin and Dormian. It's like spicy noodles with Corbin. <sighs> uh, good morning. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. I need to study for this exam.
I think out of all of the exams that I'm going to be taking, including my finals, this might be the one that I need to study for the most. My exam is going to be in six hours. I'm screwed. I have a total of five exams. This one is my first one. Honestly, I rarely get testing anxiety, but for some reason, I'm kind of nervous for this one. <laughs> I've been having a rough day, so I got myself some McNuggets. So usually my favorite sauce will be the, the tangy barbecue, but I got myself some honey mustard. I tried the honey mustard recently and it was really good. This is it. I just finished my exam. This one was a take home open book exam and it was just three essay questions. Yeah, I've just been working on this for the past few hours. I don't know why it took me so long to do this. I was just distracted the entire time. But yeah, it's almost 11 p.m. right now. Also, where do I even submit this to? Oh, okay. Yay. I'm gonna drink some green tea today. I have one final exam that's due by 11 a.m. So I'm just gonna do that and then gonna edit a video because I have a video that's due by the end of today. This is my final exam. So we have to read through this article and answer two questions. I finally finished editing the video. It's 6 p.m. I literally spent my entire day editing that video and it only turned out to be 10 minutes. This is what my apartment currently looks like. <laughs> it's a mess. I'm gonna try to help you let it go. You got, you got 
You got something on your mind I'ma try to help you let it go Congratulations, this is everything I ever wanted This is everything I ever wanted Oh, this is everything I need to pee What am I going to do after my last final exam? Because that's it. That's literally the end of it. And then I have graduation. Like, I'm kind of sad, but also I kind of just don't care. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside. And I kind of feel like cold. I wore heels for my grad picks and this happened. We're all good. I just have to have these because it hurts like hell whenever I wear shoes if I don't have band-aids. Our professor gave us a list of possible essay questions that he would give on our final tomorrow. He's going to choose two out of the 10 questions from this list and we only have to pick one of the two to answer. In the past, I've been really good at guessing what the professor is going to choose. So I'm gonna test my luck again and only study like three of the questions and hope that at least one of them is on the final. Probability wise, that's pretty risky, but I'm willing to take that risk. I really am. This is for a history course and I'm honestly not super excited about this exam. We have to write a four page essay in two hours. Normally that would not be a problem, but because it's history, it is a problem. There's a reason why I didn't take history until the last semester. I tried taking it, but then I kept dropping the class because I was just like, I can't. And then my second final is for a psych course. I'm gonna have to study for that after I study for this exam. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with some ashy hair dye. This one is level six. I dyed my hair with level 7 hair dye and I think it like washed off already because my hair is turning a little bit orange. I feel like in some lights it looks okay. Like this looks fine but then in natural lighting it looks pretty orange so I'm going to tone it down with this hair dye. Okay, I genuinely think I might suffocate in here. Oh. Help. If you got something on your mind, I'ma try to help you let it go. You got you. my hair turned out to be a lot darker than I wanted it to. I should have gotten like a level 6.5 or something. I'm gonna study for the next few hours. I have my first final at 7:45. And my second final is at 10:30. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where.